This Skilled to Work story is sponsored by Etiwamba Community College. Air conditioners, heaters, refrigerators, all of those things in our homes that we just don't think about until something goes wrong. The right person for the job is an HVAC technician. WTVA's Michelle Martin has more in this week's Skilled to Work. Whether you're at home or at work, one of the most used items this summer is definitely your air conditioning unit. HVAC technicians find themselves rushing to meet the demands of callers having issues with their air conditioners. Things are really picking up right now because everybody's turned their air conditioning on for the first time and it's sat all winter and it has problems. Your broken air conditioner will not be your only problem. You could have trouble getting a technician. That I am seeing personally is a huge shortage of technicians. The people are coming to me wanting em uh, employees for their business to help them. ICC instructor Jay Alford is passing down years of knowledge to the next generation. Bam. Heat, 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 heat. I'm Letting them get as much hands-on experience before they jump into their career. This is not just somebody toting a little gauge around your house and charging you $500. It is work. Critical work that requires not only your hands, but your brain too. Everything we do is a number here. So that's another trait is math, math, math. Entry level techs can make as much as $22 an hour after two years of courses at ICC. Alford says the best thing about the job is that no two days are the same. It can be the same type of unit over and over and over and over again and something broke a little different each time. By far that is what gets me out of bed in the morning is, is taking something that was broken that couldn't be fixed and it becomes fixed. With Skilled to Work, I'm Michelle Martin, WTVA 9 News.